Hey everybody, it's John aka Smelly Deli and it is a lovely spring afternoon here in Evansville, Indiana and I'm here at more music and moreguitars.com and today we're going to be talking about this kind of odd shaped beauty. This is the Fender Parallel Universe Volume 2 Maverick Dorado. Um, so one thing that interests me about this guitar is that one of our sales associates, Hannah, she has one of these. She's, they have one come in, she fell in love with it, she sold everything she got to be able to get it, and she absolutely loves it. And anytime somebody loves their guitar, truly loves it, that always makes me happy and it makes me very curious. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I've been checking it out really for a couple of days. I could tell everybody that this is the second time we did this because we had a battery fail on us a couple of days ago, but I wouldn't want to do that because I don't want to embarrass anybody. Um, and I also, <clears throat> I feel like I can, I'm going to do a better time. I'm going to be better at it the second time around. So let's kind of talk about what it is. So first of all, this to me does not feel like any other Fender guitar I've ever played before. There's probably some reasons for that and we'll get into it. So what is it? This is a newish model, but actually they released this way back in the 60s. So it was a, during a time where guitar companies were being a little bit more um, kind of forward thinking or trying to go kind of futuristic with some of their guitar designs. And some of them worked and some of them didn't. And this was one of Fender's designs that I guess didn't because I have never heard of it until, you know, the Parallel Universe version came out. Uh, basically what they did was they took their 12 string guitar and uh, put it on this body and only put six tuners on it. So the headstock, I'll say this just because I think it's funny. Larry says, if you are playing guitar and a hockey game breaks out, you'll be all set because it looks like a hockey stick. I personally think it looks like an elf. And I think that Fender should do a version where they paint this as like the top of his head and he's got two eyes and a nose and you could glue a beard to it and it would be like the Maverick Dorado Elf Edition. Um, so obviously this is a guitar that aesthetically speaking, you either dig it or it's not for you. But let's go into a little bit more also though on, on how it plays and how it's set up because it really, it, it is very different. It's not like a Strat, it is definitely not like a Tele. Um, it's not even like a Jazz Master or anything like that. And I think a lot of that has to do with, first of all, it's a 24.75 scale length, so it's a little bit shorter than your standard, you know, strats and tellies. It also has a bound ebony fretboard. That's right, I said ebony. The neck profile is, it's interesting. It's comfortable, it's full, but to me it does not, like I said, it doesn't feel like a standard Fender style neck. Uh, it almost feels like it's a little bit wider. I don't know the specs, I could just be me saying this, but it does. It feels like maybe it is a little bit wider guitar neck than you would find on a Tele or a Strat. And of course, it's got the block inlays. So, you know, 24 and 3 quarter scale length, ebony fretboard, bound neck. Maybe they were kind of going after something that's also kind of very popular, but I don't know. Maybe they just, that's what they ended up with. So I don't work for Fender. I can't answer that question. Uh, but all of those things together makes for a neck that is unique, at least unique to Fender. It does have the satin finish, which is great, so it's very comfortable to play. No stickiness, and of course ebony. So ebony, to me anyways, the ebony kind of has a little bit brighter sound than like rosewood. Of course, everybody's going to have a different opinion on that. We get to the body, and there's not really anything too groundbreaking here. You know, you've got two humbuckers. They do look like Filtertrons, but they're really their humbuckers. Um, and a three-way switch. So there again, two humbuckers and a three-way switch that may sound like maybe a different company's kind of setup as well. Uh, but just single volume and a single tone, so it's not like one for each pickup. Um, and the pickups were designed by Tim Shaw, who I guess is kind of a big wig in the world of pickups. Um, I think, Larry, did he used to work for a different guitar company a long time ago, but I don't want to say. He's been in the company. Okay, all right. So 
He's been around. I've heard his name. In fact, we've done a video with another guitar that had Tim Shaw design pickups, and it's, I don't know, we had, there's a lot of guitars. I can't remember everything. Uh, and then, of course, you have the Bigsby. There again, there can be somewhat of a polarizing thing. There are people that love Bigsby's, and there are people that will not touch them. A lot of it has to do with, you know, stringing them up and, and tuning stability. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't want them on every guitar I own, that's for sure, but they can add a kind of nice little quality. Um, this is Bigsby is for those people that are kind of playing things, not dive bombing, you know. Very subtle. And that's, I think, the charm of a Bigsby. So, and it is, it's actual real Bigsby. It says Bigsby on it down here. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. You know, this is in Shoreline, sorry, Fire Mist Gold. I can't believe I almost said that. The Fire Mist Gold, it comes in like 733 different colors, and I think it's actually only like four or five. I think that they have a Sunburst version, which we do have one in the store. And I think there's like a green thing and a yellow thing, I think, too. You'd have to go onto the Fender's website to see for sure. I have too much going on up here to have to memorize all the fancy color names, but this one is for sure Fire Mist Gold. I know that for positive. Let's get a couple of sounds. So I started off with the neck position uh, on the clean channel of my favorite amp. I love this amp so much, the Car Slant V. It is, I told, just got done saying to Larry, this is the best sounding Fender style clean of any amplifier I've ever plugged into. It is absolutely stellar. It is just incredible. And I'll say it say it every time. I hope nobody ever buys it so that we can keep it in here and I can plug into it two times a week until the end of time. But that's the clean sound on the neck pickup. One thing that Hannah said, and I'll kind of throw this in, is she loves the pickups on these. They're not uh, overly pushy like, you, you know, some humbuckers. Uh, the kind of lower output style humbucker she said sweet and i agree i think they they sound pretty sweet let's go down to the bridge pickup that reverb die down a little bit before I start to speak. I love reverb, by the way. Um, that's the bridge position. Let's go to the middle. Uh, actually, I'll start on bridge and kind of flip up so you can hear the contrast. Um, back to the bridge. Then the middle. Then the neck. <laughs> it's a lot of reverb, isn't it? I love it though. <laughs> I didn't do that. Larry put the reverb on so he can't yell at me. So uh, for me, I love the neck pickup. You'll probably notice that because I spend a lot of time on it. Let's try it with some crunchy stuff though. All right. Yes, the Slant V also has a crunchy channel that is pretty delightful as well. Let's go back down to the bridge. Thank you. 
I dig it. So that's it. That's all the tones you get out of it. There's only, like I said, there's only two pickups and a three-way selector. So <clears throat> if you dig the body shape, the one thing I would say you would want to do is get one in your hands. Um, because like I said, if you're looking into one of these thinking it's like a Fender Tele or a Strat, it doesn't really feel like one. Um, and it doesn't sound like one, of course, either. Um, to me, it's just kind of unique. Um, I like the body style. I like unique body styles. I like something that looks different for sure. Um, and if you are interested in this guitar, and like I said, we have one that's in a, a burst finish as well, and you can see it on our website. If you're interested in any, any of these or anything you've seen on our website or in the videos, uh, you can contact us through moreguitars.com. Uh, you could also call down here and talk to one of our sales associates. If you have specific questions about the Maverick Dorado, you might want to call and talk to Hannah. Uh, she, like I said, she really loves her guitar. She'll tell you all about it. She'll tell you everything she loves about it, which is um, even if you're not going to buy one, you should just call her and let her talk to you about it because uh, it, it always, it does the heart good when to talk to somebody who loves their guitar. Anyway, this has been the Fender Volume 2 Parallel Universe Volume 2 Maverick Dorado in Fire Mist Gold. Pretty proud of me. I said it all correct. <laughs> he gave me the thumbs up. My name is John. You can call me Smelly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.